Hey guys, so you've just got your Skaven tie and you can't wait to get it on the battlefield and you're looking for the fastest, most easiest and effective way to paint your army that leans more into the grimdark aesthetic, then this is the video for you. So one of the biggest criticisms I get on this channel is that I don't do army style painting videos. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring Goon Slap. Now, if you've never heard of Goon Slap, this was a term coined by the man himself, Grimdark Compendium, Zach Castagoon. And if you wanna go and check out his video on that, then I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But I thought, you know, we've got the new Skaven Tide box set. There's a lot of these rat ogres that we need to paint up and what better technique to use and explore than the goon slap so the goon slap is basically the slap chop technique mixed with a little bit of enamels and we're going to get into that in this video so the first thing that we need to do to our miniatures is get them primed and for this we've primed them in black now for slap chop to be effective all you need is a medium gray a light gray and some white and we're just going to dry brush the entirety of our miniatures with this method it's quick effective and if you do it correctly then you can get some nice little texture on your miniatures as well one tip I will give you is don't just do what you normally do with dry brushing and rub it off on some kitchen towel. This will result in your miniatures looking chalky and not pleasing to look at. So if you do want to learn how to effectively dry brush like the way I have done in this video, then I'd highly recommend going over and checking out the Artist Opus dry brush video. I think it's a fundamental that we should all learn and start incorporating into our miniature painting. So as I'm working my way around as well, it's very tempting, especially when you get up to the white, to highlight everything. Um, but for when you get to the final stage with the white, for this I'm just picking out areas that I want to be in like more of a shine. And that's the another tip I can give you for that, is make sure you're applying your white into the brightest areas. And this will create some nice light on your miniatures. The next step in the slap chop technique is to actually paint your miniature and for this you use contrast paints. Now obviously if you don't know what contrast paints are, they are like semi-translucent and when you apply these to your miniatures that undertone, that bright undertone that we've put on already is going to show through and it's going to create our highlights and shadows without adding any additional colour. So what I would recommend for this, there is no like paint scheme or colour palette that you can definitely use but obviously for areas like the flesh i'm using like gulliman's flesh and some of the other contrast paints and i'm sure we've got a ton of contrast paints i use them in a number of different ways but i've never <laughs> used it uh, in this way before but it's just a case i like getting different browns different reds whatever color scheme you want your army and start to work your way around your miniature applying these contrast paints all over and um, some of them i found like especially the flesh areas and when i get a bit later on in the video Video, we'll uh, we'll go over some like additional like things that you can add um, that the skin didn't turn out too happy I weren't too happy with how the skin looked um, on this so I, again at the end of the video I'll go into like a quick color recipe if you want to change it up and, and use that one uh, but maybe if you're painting like a special character like a sergeant or something or I don't know banner bearers and saw that there was some sort of music guy in there running around battlefield playing music um, but yeah so it's just a case of getting a ton of different contrast paints and painting it and applying it however it is that you like and all that work that we've previously done will start to show through after this you are going to have to hand paint your metallics in i know there are some metallic speed paints out there i unfortunately don't own any so for this i've just got lead belcher and painted all my metallic areas if you want to take it that one step further there are other additional details that you can paint on these miniatures such as their eyes and teeth and any little accessories that they might have an alternative for a skin recipe, I started off it's just using two paints, using the exact same scheme as what we've done previously, which was Blood Reaver Flesh by Citadel, and then again by Citadel I just used Rakar Flesh, adding a little bit of time and just dry brushing this all over the flesh, and then you can get things like washers like Tag or Rage Shade or Berserker Blood Shade, and put a little bit in and around the eyes. Um, you know, I weren't quite happy with how the skin turned out on the other one, maybe 
maybe I should have done a couple more coats, which I'd recommend if you were going to do it. Or what you could do is even paint the all the skin areas in this Blood Reaver flesh, then do your dry brush over the top, ready for your like slap chop method, and this will just fetch everything up and just put it more in line with what we're trying to achieve. Now in this portion of the video is where we're going to start to do our goon slap and this is going to be using the Villainy Inks range goons grime and there yes this is an enamel one of my goals throughout my channel is to get you people out there moving more into like the grimdark aesthetic using like oils and enamels and all that sort of good stuff and moving away from the acrylics because the finish and the results and the ease of use of these is just far beyond what any acrylic can do and you've got so much time with these as well because they can re be reactivated through mineral spirits and pushed around and manipulated it's like painting in reverse so if you've never used oils or enamels i'd highly recommend going out and using them a lot of people have fears of them thinking that they're toxic and i can vouch for that that you know especially the villain inks they've got the least toxicity on the market at this moment and you know being a dad myself i want to keep healthy and safe and so you know i'm not going to be using something that's going to be that deadly <laughs> you know i can't even open the lid it's going to kill me but honestly, guys, one thing I always try and move people towards, especially on this channel, is painting in the grimdark style. And this is going to be perfect for it. So I'm applying this through an airbrush. You don't have to do that. You can just use it, you know, use a bowl of mineral spirits and just dilute it in there. If you want to learn more about the Villain Inks range, then check out the resources page over at the Grimdark Compendium. Also, if you are interested in picking up some of the Villain Inks, then you can use my affiliate link below this just helps me out it's a little thank you from you guys if you make a purchase i get a little kickback from it from there so i've uh, done this via airbrush and i've just fired it through and just coated the entire miniature in that and then give it around 10 to 15 minutes to dry and if you've got a battle unit here about 10 15 20 of these by the time you've done your last one your first one will be ready for our reductive technique and for this we're going to use some cotton q-tips and i've just dipped one side in mineral spirits in the sides dry and it, what it'll do when i dab it on is reactivate it and then with the other end i can smush it about and smudge it about and that'll leave it in the crevice areas once you've done that to all your miniatures, again, give it around 10-15 minutes to dry. They typically take around 24 hours to fully cure. So you still, if you know, if you want to go back a bit later on and remove a bit more, you've got the option to be able to do that. But what you'll have now is a really nice looking, a bit more in line with what the wood actually look like if these guys are in like the sewers and running around on dirt and grime and just being gnarly, then the goons grime just fits that perfect. And at this point, you are done. That is your miniature done. So if you're going to paint an army, you can very quickly knock some of these out using this method. Um, here, I'm just adding some additional techniques. If you do want to push it that little bit further and spend a couple more minutes just here and there. And for this, I've got Dirty Downs Rust and I'm just applying it into like areas like the chainmail in and around their armor as well. Also, for the basing, I naturally, what I always use in my videos is the kraut cover and for this i used a common earth it's just a one dip solution and it really goes with the battlefield but you know there's a whole range of them and you can check them out in my video as well so I hope this video has given you something and learned something, whether you can take a certain technique and, you know, mix it in with your other one. Goon slap or, you know, like the slap chop technique is not something that I typically use on this channel or neither do I normally paint in this speed style. Uh, and I, I doubt I ever will again, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but, you know, it, it, I hope it's reached some of the people that, you know, want to might not have the skill level or just want a quick technique that looks grim dark and quite easy to do or just something to have a bit of fun with how you've got that from that obviously with the scaven tide i will be working my way through the box set the next video is obviously gonna be stormcast eternals so if you don't want to miss out on any of these future videos where we're going more in depth with like the grim dark style and just doing some happy painting and some more in-depth techniques that will push you as a painter then make sure you are hitting that subscribe button hope you've enjoyed this video if you want to check out some of my other ones that are a completely different style to this then please go over and check them out but until next time guys i'll catch you in my next video